some of his Batista stories. So I just watched Riddick 3. This is from Joe Troll, by the way. You know, because you, Joe Troll, always calls you Baldy. Who's this so about? Just B- wa- B- Batista? Yeah. A new WWE Hall of Famer, Batista. Yeah. So I just watched Riddick 3, which was awesome. I forgot that Batista was in the cast. Awesome movie. And then with Batista publicly trying to get, get some from Dana Brooke, which I don't blame him. She's hot and seems like a real freak whore. But it got me <laughs> thinking, do you guys have any stories about Batista? Now, I know that you haven't worked in the same company at the same time as the guy, but surely you guys have heard stories about him behind the scenes from the other guys. So let's hear them. He sounds like he's trying to command us to tell the Batista stories there, doesn't he, a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I don't, bro, I don't have, the only Batista story I have, because uh, I never worked with the guy, is that uh, when he got in a fight with Booker T, that right. Booker T had told us a story that Booker was holding the guy's arm behind his head and, like, punching him in the face, okay? Ouch. And Batista, Batista was telling people that, that, uh, that somebody else was holding his arm. And Booker T was going, "That's me." <laughs> so that's the only story I have. Like, I mean, literally, I've not. I've, I've, have you heard any Batista stories? Uh, no, I met, I met him once backstage, and I I asked him, uh, "What nationality are you?" Because Batista sounds uh, Latino. Right? He was like, "Yeah, I'm Filipino and Greek." Really? Like, wow, that's a weird combination. He kind of looks like exotic looking guy. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Bro, you look like a fucking star just standing here." This is before he even blew up. You know, okay. and uh, and then I heard that he had a lot of heat because he was always bringing girls backstage. 